everybody. Thanks for tuning in to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin once again, your site for learning classic rock songs on the Mando. Classic rock songs like Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville. There's a fun song to play on this instrument. It works really nicely, especially for those little lead bits. And I will show you the lead guitar solo for mandolin a little bit later in this lesson. So please stay tuned for that. Once again, thanks for subscribing. We've gotten over 200 subscribers already in the first month of this channel's existence. So thank you very much. If you're new to the channel and haven't yet subscribed, please hit that little red button down on the lower right corner of the screen or way down there. Subscribing to this channel and liking it by hitting the like button below really helps me to continue producing videos like this one. Also, if you want to leave any comments below, positive comments, please feel free to do that. Perhaps making some suggestions for future songs, classic rock songs that I might feature on this website. So let's not wait any longer to dive into Margaritaville on the Mandolin by Jimmy Buffett. Okay, everybody, we've zoomed in now for Margaritaville. Very interesting little song to play on the mandolin, and the introduction part is really fun. It starts off with this little pattern here. All right, so what did I do there? Well, it's just a little interesting two note uh, chord here. A little double stop actually, right here. And it starts off with your uh, pointer finger right here on the D string, seventh fret, right? Seventh fret, and then a ninth fret on the A string. Little double stop there. And you just move that whole thing down two frets each time, so. Right? You do that twice. Then you shift it up a little bit from the seventh fret on the D string to the ninth fret and the tenth fret on the A string. Give you that chord. So you go. And then you catch what's basically a D chord down here. Uh, the 4th fret of the D string and the 5th fret of the A string gives you a D voicing there. So once again, the whole pattern goes like this. All right, now let's look at the chords for Margaritaville. Basically, after the intro, the intro is... So those chords are D to G to A back to D. And you could, either D voicing is all right. This one, you could hammer on that little note right there on the E string to give you that little voicing. Or you could do it as I showed you in the introduction. Either is okay, and either works for this song, but those nice, sort of hammered sus chord voicings on the D and the A uh, chord later really work nicely in the song. So I'll show you. So there I'm sort of hammering on an A chord down here at the second fret second fret uh, of the G string, second fret of the D string, but I'm pulling that finger off to give you an A sus4 chord. Right? The chorus for Margaritaville is quite simple. It's just wasted away again in Margaritaville. So G to A to D. G, A, D, A, G. Then back to A and back to D. So that little tricky bit once again was G, A, and then quickly D, A, G, 
and then back to A, and then back to D. And the solo is fairly simple, starting on the with that double stop voicing once again, uh, same as the intro uh, here on the seventh fret of the D string, ninth fret of the A string. It goes like, right, just like the intro, sliding down two frets. But then you slide down to that D. Right, the same D voicing from the beginning. Okay, so after the What am I doing there? Well, I'm going I'm using that double stop from the 7th and 9th frets and then up to the this double stop here, which is actually a G chord, I believe. So you go from the 7th to the 9th and 10th frets quickly, so all the way down to an A voicing. This is an A chord now, right? A chord here with your uh, those two frets, the uh, G string second fret and the D string second fret, then fourth fret on the A string, fifth fret on the E string, right? And you can also do a little sus chord hammer on there. So Then you're just doing so, a couple little patterns on a G chord to an A chord. So what's he doing there? Well, this is your G chord right there. You can just start with this G chord and you can use that note. I slide it in, I go. So I'm hitting the second fret on the A string, third fret on the E string. And then I'm just sliding that whole pattern up two frets. Right, so this is now fourth fret on the A string and fifth fret on the E string. That's, then there's a single note pattern that goes. So you're here, F sharp note, second fret on the E. And you, you reach up and grab that A, and then you reach up and grab the B, which is here at the seventh fret, so. Then a little hammer on from the F sharp to the G down to the D note. So, and then you you slip back into that little double stop pattern here. So again, that double stop, which is on the ninth and tenth frets of the middle strings, down to the seventh and ninth, and the fifth and seventh. So. So once again, that entire solo goes. And there's a little lick that goes right at the end of the chorus that sounds cool if you can get it to throw it in, so. Some people claim that there's a woman to blame, right? And then when you go to that A chord, you can throw in that little double stop lick again. All right, so that little lick again is up here on the ninth fret of the D string and the 10th fret of the A string. Then you shift that down just a couple of frets again seventh and ninth and then fifth and seventh so and then the second part is just seven down to the d chord seven five four on the on this string the d string and that's jimmy buffett's margaritaville for mandolin i hope you enjoyed that one it's a really fun song to play once again thanks very much for tuning in to rpm rock and pop mandolin and don't forget to like this page 
like this video and or subscribe to this channel if you haven't already by hitting that little subscriber button down below. Leave some comments below if you want me to try to tackle some songs, some classic rock songs on the mandolin. I will certainly take a look and see if we can do that on this channel as well. Once again, thanks for tuning in to RPM Rock and Pop Mandolin.